Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Analog Electronics Playlist. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about concept of feedback in amplifiers. Now this concept is super important to understand because the entire chapter of feedback amplifiers is based upon this concept. And there's this very important formula for the feedback amplifiers gain. We'll closely look into that formula and we'll see the rationale behind the derivation of that formula. So if this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. Now, if you look at a simple amplifier, of course, it has an input and the output is supposed to be um, bigger in amplitude because that's what the job of an amplifier is. And the gain of that amplifier, if we talk about the voltage gain specifically, it will be the output voltage upon input voltage. And please understand that voltage gain is known as the open loop gain of an amplifier however if we talk about the feedback amplifier it looks something like this it has an additional block of a feedback network and the output is fed to that block of feedback network with um, so-called gain of the feedback network now please understand this gain is a misnomer here i'll tell you in a moment so whatever the output is it is fed to this feedback network and you get a uh, certain output here which is depicted as vf which is again sent to this mixer so this is a summing device or a mixer which will eventually take input signal and the feedback signal mix it and will feed to the amplifier again let us say the output of the mixer is vd so vd will be either vs plus vf or it will be vs minus vf it will depend upon whether we give a positive feedback or a negative feedback i'll talk about the nature of the feedback in a minute so this gain is is a misnomer here as I said because uh, the amplifier has elements like BJT or MOSFET or JFET which are responsible for the amplification of the signal but this feedback network is consistent of impedances R, L and C passive elements so it is going to bring the level of the signal down some kind of voltage will be dropped here at this point and the output voltage vf is certainly going to be uh, lower than what we get at the input so the value of beta will normally be less than one so technically it's not a gain and what's more important is that we look at this term v naught upon vs as we looked in this one if we were to find the ratio of v naught upon the actual input the the input even before the mixer that will become the total gain of this feedback amplifier and that gain is known as the closed loop gain because the ratio of v naught upon v d will be a so that's just this part the output of this part is v naught but this part is getting an input vd so we are not concerned about this ratio a we are concerned about the total uh, gain of the amplifier which is the final output upon the initial input now that being said our objective is to find a v f and of course we know that AV and AVF are going to be two different things. So our key points are AV and AVF are different. AVF is the gain of the feedback amplifier and the output of the summing or the mixer is going to be VD. So as I mentioned here, you'll get VD here and it will be either VS plus or VS minus VF. So if the feedback voltage is in phase, 
or 360 degree out of phase will say that it's positive feedback if it is 180 degree out of phase will say that it is negative feedback so this plus and minus sign will depend upon the phase of this uh, voltage and of course the phase can only be reversed depending upon whether you have r or l or a combination of r l c because these elements are going to be responsible for the change of the phase l and c's right so our objective becomes finding a v f so i'll start with the first step the output of the summing device is v d which is v s plus minus v f and my v naught is going to be a into v d where a is just the gain of the amplifier so i substitute the value of v d as v s plus minus v f in the next step um, I know Vf is beta times V0 because Vf is obtained at the output of this feedback network block and the output of this feedback network block is beta times V0 because output of feedback network is beta V0. So then we take this part to left hand side now when we take this part to the left hand side this plus minus sign reverses to minus plus now that's the sense of uh, this derivation so be very very careful about this so i have v naught minus plus a beta times v naught is equal to a v s and i'm interested in finding v naught upon v s that becomes a upon one minus plus a beta now this is a very popular formula most of you already know this formula this is the closed loop gain of the amplifier a lot of you are confused about this a minus plus sign which is being featured here now please understand when we started off with the feedback we gave the feedback in the order of plus and minus for positive feedback we are getting a negative sign here and for negative feedback we are getting a positive sign here that's the essence of uh, the formula here gain with feedback turns out to be a upon 1 minus plus a beta so now if you look closely at the summing device if we give a positive negative feedback we get a positive negative here if feedback is positive we get vs plus vf if feedback is negative we get vs minus vf and we see that the end result gives me a upon 1 minus a beta in case of positive feedback and we get a upon 1 plus a beta in case of negative feedback now let's look into the significance of this formula here we know that the gain of the amplifier a v is going to be very very large greater than one because amplifier has bjt mosfets and jfets so this is point number one key point number one now beta is going to be less than one because feedback network has uh, impedances that is going to bring the output voltage level down no amplification device is featured here so that brings us to the point that if a b plus one is a quantity greater than one then the denominator becomes greater than one so the gain decreases so that is what is expected out of a negative feedback that its gain decreases you'll easily predict the gain for a positive feedback the denominator becomes less than one at times it might go to a negative territory which which will cause phase reversal the gain will surely increase now what's the trade-off why do we have both the options if if we want the primary objective of the amplifier to be providing gain then why do we have these two options now let's look at another point now if at t approaching infinity the output of the device is finite then the system is stable so there is one criteria for stability 
and if at time approaching infinity the value of output is infinite then this system is unstable so we conclude that negative feedback amplifiers are best for increasing stability and positive feedback amplifiers are best for increasing gain so when we need to increase the gain of the system will employ positive feedback and when we need to increase the stability of the system will employ negative feedback and will employ mix of both in case we need to fine tune between gain and stability all the time so depending upon the requirement of the user we have uh, Firstly, we have a non-unity uh, positive or negative feedback systems, just like the one we have here where beta will be some impedance. Depending upon R, LC, it will be reactive, uh, capacitive reactance, inductive reactance or purely resistive. Or we could have, uh, you know, nothing at all. It's just simple feedback where beta is 1 when... Um, v naught is directly fed back to uh, the summing device without any change uh, of the voltage then the feedback is unity feedback system we require those systems at times so finally we have multi feedback amplifiers that have both positive and negative feedbacks simultaneously given to fine tune the gain and stability so that was all about feedback amplifiers introduction that i wanted to discuss i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and press that like button share it and i'll see you around in the next video take care have a good day good life bye